that is Dominic Morris and I have the second review of the week uh, today um, now in my previous review I reviewed the Anakin Skywalker blade builder lightsaber and I mentioned in that video that you could use the Rey Starkiller base lightsaber so I have today that exact lightsaber. <laughs> yes, here is the Ray Starkiller base um, blade builder lightsaber. So yes, now immediately you can already see there are some similarities to the design of the Anakin Skywalker one. So. I'm going to talk about the details and I'm going to mention what looks similar. So, like with the Anakin Skywalker lightsaber, um, you have these black ridges at the bottom, but they now have studs in them. They have these little bits in it. Um, you have the hole, the, the base. Um, now, on the button handle, you have this little section. The design is definitely different. Um, you have a switch here as well. You once again have the diamond effect running all the way around. You have a smaller button than with the previous one, but that's to house the battery compartment. Um, you once again have these two bits here, uh, two black bars, that bit, and the black band again. Uh, on the back, you once again have this bit and another button, and that's it really. Um, as well as the usual guff. So, in terms of design, um, this lightsaber is constructed very, very well. Um, I like the way it's been designed, um, and it fits very well with, and it looks a lot like the lightsaber used in the film. So, turning to features, um, with the with this lightsaber. Um, did you see the handle is already out a little bit, but there's a reason for that. So once again, moving the camera. Hello, hello, blue wall, my old friend. Do 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 do. Um. Um. So yeah, link with the Anakin Skywalker lightsaber. All you have to do is flick, and out comes the blade, like so. So as you can see, it's um darker blue than the other one, but it's actually clear. I don't know whether you can see that very well with um, the way it is. But there's only three sections, um, it's clear. Now, I was talking about this button, and the details are different, but there's a reason for that. Um, so if you press this button, you can actually get light and sounds out of the lightsaber. So you press it, you only have to press it once to turn it on, and once to turn it off. So, I'm going to show you the light now. So as you can see, it's quite bright. Um, it does reach all the way up to the top of the blade. Um, see, there we are. It does run all the way through the top. It looks like a sonic screwdriver. But it runs all the way through. Um, so, you can, so it has the humming noise. And... Um, and when you swish it, it does have sounds, and when you hit it, it has the sounds like two lightsabers colliding. So as I said, to turn the sound back off, just press the button again, and there we go. <laughs> so you got the sound is quite loud, so you can hear it very, very well. And so, to put the blade back in, you have to do a bit of a harder work, but it goes in, as I said, and because of the electronics, the blade doesn't go all the way in. So if you think the blade's going to go all the way in, haha, <laughs> no, not, not on this one, say, but it won't. But yeah, in terms of the features, it's very good, very, very good, very nice. Sounds loud enough, the light's bright enough. It's brilliant. So like with the Anakin um, Skywalker lightsaber, you can connect 
you can connect the Ray, Star Killer Base, Lightsaber, two other ones, so hence why there's a hole in the base. So it works the same basis. Um, you just pop it in and you twist it till you hear a click and it's secure. I still have the other lightsaber attached to it. Um, but yeah, when both lightsabers are together, it's very secure and it makes a really cool, really, really cool lightsaber. It's very amazing. So, um, the connector actually came, it comes with this lightsaber, not the other one. It comes with this lightsaber. So that's where I got my connector from. So that's where it holds together. So yeah, it's quite secure again. It doesn't really come done. And to detach it, again, you press the button, twist the lightsaber, click, you're out. So that's, again, that's how you... So that's how you connect the lightsabers together. Okay, so overall, what do we think of the product? Well, because of the electronics, there are a few flaws, namely there's an obviously inset battery compartment, um, the blade doesn't go all the way in, and the lightsaber just feels chunkier. But the lights and but the electronics inside the lightsaber, given the lights and sounds, make it a whole lot better. The lights very visible, you can see it very well. Um, it sounds quite loud, so you know you'll be able to hear them quite good. And there are motion, there is motion response for the lights and sounds as well, which I think is just amazing. But anyway, guys. Um, so, like with the Anakin Skywalker lightsaber, I will put a link in the description of the video in order to be able to purchase this product. But, until the next video, this is Dominic Morris out. Bye!